In this edition of AAC Spotlight, we explore NASA's successful moon landing while revealing the motive behind the mission and debut a new segment, Pick of the Week, where we highlight the latest EE buzz firing up the internet. All of that and more coming up. In a groundbreaking achievement, Firefly Aerospace, in collaboration with NASA, has successfully landed its spacecraft, Blue Ghost 1, on the moon. This marked the second private mission to do so, but the first to land upright. That is a stunning accomplishment, as without a lunar atmosphere, parachutes are basically worthless. So precise thruster burns are needed for a controlled descent over rough lunar terrain. But what is NASA's ultimate goal by sending unmanned explorers to the moon, and what are the technical advancements that made Blue Ghost 1 successful? We'll explore all of that and more coming up, but first, let's check out our featured product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. CK KSC tactile switches offer durability, tactile feedback for industrial and consumer applications. Their standout features include electrical height for easy integration, a soft actuator, and SMT compatibility. With an IP67 rating and an operating temperature of up to 125 degrees Celsius, they offer various operating forces and electrical lifespans. With a maximum voltage of 32 volts DC, they ensure durability through high dielectric strength low contact resistance, and excellent insulation. The CNK KSC tactile switches are perfect for industrial electronics, consumer products, transportation, and medical devices. To learn more, visit mauser.com today or click the link in the description below. It takes a lot of electrical engineering expertise to land a craft on the moon, so let's dive into the construction of Blue Ghost 1. The lander features a box-shaped structure with four landing legs and two equipment decks, supporting 155 kilogram payload capacity. It is powered by solar arrays that generate 450 watts nominal and up to 650 watts peak power. The arrays are configured for optimal sun exposure. Thermal control is managed through heat pipes, radiators, insulation, and active heaters. Communication capabilities include a 6 megabits per second average downlink and a 0.2 kilobits per second average uplink. Designed to carry 10 payloads, the lander ensures efficient power, thermal regulation, and data transmission for lunar surface operations. That's some pretty ingenious technology, but what is NASA's ultimate goal? Firefly's Blue Ghost 1 lander is carrying 10 NASA science payloads. These instruments will gather critical data for the lunar science community, exploring regolith behavior, the moon's interior composition, and other key research areas. Lunar dust presents challenges for technologies, materials, and human health on the moon. Better understanding is needed to mitigate its impact on these issues. Yet regolith is an important element that contains oxygen in the form of oxides. Processes like molten salt electrolysis or hydrogen reduction can break these compounds down to release oxygen. And that could help attain NASA's ultimate goal of having humans return to the moon. Okay, time for our pick of the week, and we're going to stick with NASA for something pretty mind-blowing and adorable. This week, we spotlight Taters, the frisky feline who starred in the first ultra-high definition video streamed from deep space via laser. The laser was transformed from 19 million miles away with a 101 second delay. Taters across the solar system. Well, Taters was not harmed in any way during production, though it is said she did suffer from a momentary lapse of reason. Hey, that does it for us. If you want to learn about the incredible engineering behind Blue Ghost 1, click the link on your screen. And until next time, I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. I'll see you on the dark side of the moon.